Welcome back. Well, let's uh, focus on Kesaram Industries as promised. The stock is under some pressure. It's reacting to its numbers and maybe the street was anticipating some sort of an announcement. Well, uh, the losses continue as well. Some bit of improvement. But how does quarter four look? Well, we're joined by Mr. Radhakrishnan, the whole time director as well as CEO of Kesaram Industries. Uh, hi, Mr. Radhakrishnan. Well, we talk about your operational performance in just a bit. But just clarify this point. You know, in the run-up to the numbers, there was various speculation that maybe there's a takeover bid that's come, come, come across to you. We've asked you this numerous times, but please clarify yet again, have y'all been approached by anyone, uh, you know, any company uh, to, to be taken over? Good morning, Nigel. No, uh, we have not been approached by anyone. Okay, let's flip it around then. I understand that, uh, you know, still there's a bit of a crunch on the liquidity front and debt as well is reasonably high. You've been bringing it down but the debt pressures continue. Have you all approached anyone, either a financial investor or one of the larger peers to uh, sell out some part of the stake? No. So the way we look at it is today, the debt is 1,650 crores. Mm. Given that 1,650 crores, yes, it has been an extraordinary first half for the industry as a whole. Mm. Uh, we should be doing, uh, with our capacity of close to 10 million, we should be doing about 500 crores of EBITDA. So 500 crores of EBITDA with the 1,650 crores of debt is comfortable. Okay. Uh, maybe slightly elevated, it should come to 1,200. That's okay. the way I look at it. Just to clarify, sir, the company is not on the block you're retrating, right? Absolutely. Okay, all right. Okay, so no plans uh, for selling any stake or any um, any part of your company to any other investor. So that's about the other part. But let's talk about the operational performance right now. You spoke about your debt figure, the EBITDA number as well. Can you give us a sense of what volumes look like in quarter three? You had earlier guided for seven and a half for FY23. That is something that you had cut down in terms of guidance. Will you be able to achieve that seven and a half mark as well? So, uh, two parts to your question. One is volume, uh, quarter three volume has been 1.8 million. So, we have done about 5.04 million in the nine months. So, 7.2 we should touch. That's the way I look at it. Okay, so you're saying we even... Seven, slightly lower than 7.4 what we sold last financial year. Okay, so 7.2 is what you will be able to do this year. You had earlier guided for 7.5, but now you've yeah. cut it down even further. Yes. Okay, interesting. So earlier it was, I think uh, you were guiding to a closer to around eight, then seven and a half, now seven point two. But we're going yeah. by uh, going by seven point two. Now I just punched yeah. in the numbers quickly when you gave us that number, and it appears the bit up or done is around five hundred rupees, four hundred and eighty to around five hundred rupees odd. Now cost the... costs have been cooling off, sir. Uh, you know earlier you were saying that your hope is that the bit up per ton goes to around seven hundred rupees per ton. Happens in quarter four, you think so? 600 we should touch because the uh, costs have been cooling off. Mm. But uh, if you look at even between H1 and Q3, the realization per ton is flat. And whatever we did at EBITDA, cash generation of 102 crores in Q3, as against 138 in H1. So the entire EBITDA kicker has come by cost pressure coming off. Uh, but it is slowly coming off. It, what is important is even the prices to go up. Mm. We hope the prices, we are able to translate the prices, the prices has to go up. Okay. Which is important. I would say 600, anywhere between 550 to 600 is what mm. we should finish the year with. Oh, that's, but that's a very small improvement then from around this 480, 70 rupees or I think the street would have been happier to see a higher number. Now I'm punching in the number 7.2 million tons that you're talking about at around, uh, you know, uh, for the year, you have not, you have not averaged 600 rupees. So that a bitter, absolute a bitter for this year will not be the 500 crores that you're talking about. It will be close to 400 crores. It will be close to 400 crores. Correct. All right. All right, so that's the EBITDA number. In that case, we were also talk talking about the debt number. You said 1650 crore rupees and 500 crore rupees of EBITDA is something you're comfortable with. Now we will be able to do 400 crore rupees in FY23. What will the yeah. debt number look like? 1650 crore rupees, uh, how much will that decline to? And your refinancing that you were looking at, what is the update there? What is the current cost of debt for you? Yeah, so the, the key to this balance sheet is refinancing. Hmm. which we hope uh, we should be able to do that by March. 
if the entire refinancing doesn't happen by March, at least it should be tied up and the transaction gets uh, executed in the uh, first quarter of next financial year. Okay. If you delay any further, uh, it is not uh, good for this balance sheet. So what would the rate be then, Mr. Radhakrishnan? It, uh, the rate would be somewhere between 10 to 11 percent is what we are looking at. Currently, we are 19 percent. That's okay. where we are. Mm. And you will be able to do it in the first quarter of next financial year, is what you're saying? Yes, absolutely. That is our topmost priority for us as an organization. You know, Mr. Radhakrishnan, you frankly said it, right? If you can't do it by quarter one, it will not be very good for the company. So what's the backup absolutely. plan? What's absolutely. the backup plan then? Oh, we will make it happen. So if you want to do a backup plan, you will not make it happen. Mm, no, but there has to be a plan B, you know, otherwise uh, all those rumours that we've been hearing for many quarters that could possibly happen. Uh, I'm not sure, but as of now you're guiding for that, uh, you know, refinancing to take place. So we'll take that on board. But if it doesn't happen, that'll be interesting. What about the debt, absolute debt number? From 1650 crores, what's the trajectory no, you, you went this no year with? Yeah, Sorry. Mr. Radhakrishnan, I'll just clear, uh, you know, put forth my question first. By the end of this year, what does the debt number end with? And for FY24, you must be having a scaling down plan. So the number on both these fronts. Please go ahead. Yeah, there are no obligations from here to March. Principal obligation, only interest obligations are there. Uh, the next installment is in August, right? Uh, so it is more of a rate at which we uh, the financing is running. That needs to be curtailed. Uh, because it is now almost two years uh, since we uh, borrowed these funds from alternate funds. So the time has come for us to act and go back to normal rate of 10 to 12 percent is yes, what Mr. I should say. I do get your point. Of course, it will be positive for your PNL if the interest rates go down. And by what you are saying, there will be a halving of interest rates as well at those rates, which if you are able to lock in at those levels. But if debt reduces, that will also be positive, right? So is there any plan to reduce your debt in absolute numbers, apart from the refinancing that you're talking about? So, as I told, our targeted debt number should be 1,200. Either by way of operation or other means, we should quickly reach 2,200 crores of debt. So, that should be the comfortable level of debt in this balance sheet. That so, is what... this refinancing is usually accretive to the, all the stakeholders. Okay. So, that is the primacy, prime uh, objective now to focus on. By FI24 and 1,200 crores is you're talking about, right? Correct. Uh, all right. And you also briefly mentioned that in August, there is a repayment obligation of the principal. What is that amount? 30 crores. 30 it's crores. It's not substantial. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's, okay, that's a small number then. I thought it was a larger number which could swing things. Uh, no, the way it, uh, Nigel, it is 25-26, this entire uh, debt matures. Okay. Right? Therefore, it is important to refinance. Okay. That's why I said. Okay, so 25, 26 is when, when your debt matures and that's when you'll have to make payments uh, in, yeah, on yeah. those amounts as well. Yeah. Uh, can you and, give us... And a 1,000 crores or not is not going to come out of operations, obviously. Okay. Right? Therefore, it is important to plan the refinance well ahead of the maturity. Okay, of course. So the debt number and the refinancing option, of course, is important to track as far as the future performance is concerned as well. Um, Mr. Radhakrishnan, can you give us a sense of when the demerger of the Rayon plant is going to get commissioned or completed by, so to say? FY23 is the timeline that you had given. Are you on track? So uh, there is something which we have uh, disclosed as uh, part of our results in the notes to our accounts too. Uh, so uh, there are... Uh, certain uh, corporate actions going in our in our uh, subsidiary mm. we are look, looking at uh, equity infusions through diligences so we want to complete that before we go full steam on the demerger okay. so the demerger may spill uh, uh, beyond this march 23 mm. because our focus is on to uh, bring in, uh, complete the due diligence and bring in uh, equity into the balance sheet. Okay, all right. So there's going to be equity raised in the consolidated entity, the current entity? 
In the subsidiary. In the subsidiary. That's the rayon yes. business. Yes. So first there'll be money that will be coming into the rayon business and then the demerger will take place. Absolutely. Absolutely. What yes. is the quantum of money that will come into this uh, entity? Roughly? At this stage, at this stage uh, I don't think I can divulge it. Okay. Very quickly before we let you go, how is Simon demand on ground? Are you seeing some traction? The hope is that from quarter four onwards things will go flying away. Are you observing that? Stronger demand yes. in January? The demand is good. The demand is good. And pricing? Have you pushed through any price increases or that's not been possible? Price, we are, we are, we are attempting at 5 to 10 rupees per bag. Mm. Some markets, it's getting absorbed. Some markets, it's not getting absorbed. That's where we are. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today and detailing your quarter three numbers, the plans going forward as well, and clarifying on a lot of other things as well because the stock definitely is under a bit of pressure today, down 8%. Uh, so important to get, get in that management commentary as well. Uh, for now, we'll slip into a short break. We'll get you more on the markets and stock-specific action on the other side. Stay tuned.